On first news today, we're going to take a trip through a desalting plant. We're going to do it on a big board here. I sort of refer to this as the NASA of Yuma because the control boards and all the electronic equipment just reminds me of NASA, but this is probably, uh, uh, we could equate that to this with Gary Bryant, who is the district manager for the Yuma desalting plant. And Gary, it is like a NASA board here, isn't it? It's what our operators use to control our plant, so yeah, it's similar. Let's take a walk through the desalting plant. How does it all start? First of all, we have the Colorado River right up here in the blue. Colorado River's in the blue, water coming in from pumped drain water from the Welton Mohawk Irrigation and Drainage District uh, is taken by the plant and when it's operating, uh, which it isn't right at this minute, uh, although it's capable of, uh, when it's operating it moves this water through the, the, uh, the plant, it takes out the large uh, sediment, uh, the, the grit, the sand, it goes in and continues through these large solid contact reactors to clean the water up even more and finally we polish the water, what we call polish it, which means just get it to the right uh, pH, the right acidity, and uh, uh, get every last bit of, of grit and sand and clay out, and then we put it into a clear well. This clear well goes, uh, is preparatory to actually going through the reverse osmosis process. The first part here is just water treatment. The second part is the actual reverse osmosis. We run the pressure up through high pumps up to 200 pounds per square inch. We run it through the reverse osmosis membranes where we actually separate the water molecule from the saline water that's being fed into it. That way we get a cleaner uh, water product and we end up with two product lines. One is the clean water. The second one is a more of a more concentrated brine. Now, Gary, do you have any waste products from all of this operation? Uh, there's two products that you could consider waste. One is the more uh, concentrated brine, which goes back into the canal and goes down to the Santa Clara Slough uh, into Mexico. The second one is all of the grit and some of the leftover chemicals, and they go out by the prison south of Yuma. There's a site which we call the A22 site where we go out there and uh, let it dry out. It just dries out out there, and then uh, that could be used back in the soil too, can it? Well, this particular uh, product uh, might have some economic uh, usefulness. When we start the plant up, we would look into that. Uh, Gary, let's talk a little bit about the, the future of uh, reverse osmosis. Um, I think the, ref the, uh, the future is, is really good. We're making some breakthroughs both at this plant and at some other places. I think they'll be using it along the coast, particularly in the, the desert areas of Southern California largest desalting plant in the world as far as reverse osmosis goes is right here in Yuma, Arizona, and they're making water a lot easier to use by taking the salt out of it. I'm George Gatley, and that is First News Today.